This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by Naperville Bank and Trust. Spring rains are wreaking havoc on sporting events many washed out in the last week. Fortunately, a pair of softball games caught the good fortune of sunshine, and boy did they take advantage. Recent history is suggesting Wabonzi will have another great season. The Warriors three straight conference championships. The visitors, last year's third place team at State, Oak Park River Forest. We skip to the seventh. Caitlin Santiago at the dish for the Huskies, facing a one-run deficit. Blasted tie ball game. To the bottom half, six runs apiece. Sabrina Calabrese digs in and lets it rip. The shot sends Wabonzi walking. 7-6 the final. To the Mustangs in Matia Valley hosting Plainfield North with an eye on a race in a three-game losing streak. And we can jump straight to the seventh in this one as well. Plainfield North up 4-0, but Matia comes roaring back. Two on for Fran Sinise. Bunt single makes it a 4-1 score. Now for two, Emily Finger with an inside out swing, shooting the ball down the line, tie ball game into extra as they go. But unlike their Wabonzi counterpart, the Mustangs can't quite complete the comeback. In the end, it's Jenna Dunbar with a walk off winner for the Wildcats. Back to Wabonzi, this time for some fun on the pitch. Barrington comes in for a matchup of two of the state's top programs. Sarah Griffith with a beautiful move early, a frozen rope makes it a 1 0 score. But the Phillies don't just come back, they take a 3-1 lead thanks to two goals from Kayla Keck. With the sun setting, Dub V lights up the field. Griffith again, this time to tie, and then Jordan Masiak with the lefty liner, top shelf winner. Wabonzi comes away victorious again. Bennett Academy also in action, taking on St. Charles East. But unfortunately for the Red Wings, the Saints kept them out of the nets for the entire game. B.A. falls 2-0. Finally, back to the Diamond Central and Lincoln Way North matching up. Third inning, man on for James Quinn. He hammers one over the head of Ben Roseboom. 2-1 Phoenix lead. Same inning, Roseboom saw those first two runs score and makes sure his throw denies a third. Central trying to turn defense into offense. Bo Buchanan at the plate, base is loaded. Soft liner nets a pair of runs. Connor Joyce pads the lead later on with a mammoth shot into the power alley. Red Hawks 7-3 winners. We finish up at North Central, and I'm not sure what is more impressive, the baseball team doing what it's doing or what the women's lacrosse team did to Cornell. The baseball team is 11-0 and ranked 14th in the nation, so how does the lacrosse team top that? How about by shutting out Cornell 24-0? Add on a 22-2 win over Linfield, 46-2 the last two games. The Cardinals are now 4-2. That's it for sports. Back to you, Natalie.